Hi everyone. In this video I want to share with you how I have fun with my calendar. I've been watching um, a lot of videos of some of you guys having fun with your file of faxes, which is very cool. And I just want to uh, quickly um, say that um, even if we are not um, moms that have kids in school anymore or like me my youngest son um he'll be 21 years old next month um so right now it's just me and my husband but i do uh have the need to write some notes and schedule some appointments and so my work is one that requires a writing list or planning um work planning so um i still have some needs uh to to write something or schedule something so um back in the day uh franklin colby um i think was the the most uh, one of the most popular brands and it was the brand i could afford and um i had a, a large size binder in my desk and then a pocket size that i would carry with me uh everywhere then um as time went by uh, we all got smartphones and iPads and um, then I, I just ha somehow uh, even though the, uh, the, the iPhone you know the, the smartphone is convenient um, you can even put it in um, a small clutch purse um, it's not the same somehow I have the need to see the planner as you can see here my two pages and then at the same time uh, being able to mark or count the dates you know all that so um, somehow I just I just never give up my planner and then when Martha Stewart came out with her line of uh, calendars that you can buy at um, Staples that's where I get mine um, I completely love the layout that she makes and Martha Stewart is she's known for her high quality products so I really like this one and I just want to share it with you just in case you are um, experiencing <laughs> the same you're at, at, at your life at the same point I am where um, I don't need to carry a, a binder so um, another uh, one other thing that I don't like I never liked about my binders was the actual rings here um, when you open and write somehow it, it will bother me and I would just open and take the 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 sheet out and write uh, on the side and then put it back um, it was just I just didn't like it and it was just bulky and um, well these ones come in the Martha Stewart blue and the pink and this is a thir 2013 perfect bound planning calendar with uh, the weekly and monthly formats very convenient and another thing that I thought I was gonna have a problem with is that the tabs it doesn't have tabs it has the markers the ribbon markers and um, when I saw it, I said, oh, maybe it's not going to work. So it's not e too expensive um, as you will um, find uh, a file of facts to be a lot more expensive. And there's no refill pages to buy. So that's another good thing. Um, but I didn't miss the tabs at all. Um, where I leave this calendar, I, I've already been using I just saved the, this for the purpose of this video. Um, where I put it, I put it uh, on top of, next to my, my bag at work. And for privacy, I think it's actually more convenient not to have a tab where uh, it will be very easy to just uh, go and look for information you will find it right away so um, I like that and I do find myself not opening my calendar a lot because I usually go and open it in the page where I'm supposed to be at um, and that's it 
so let me show it to you and it starts here a plane uh, with the first page and this is how I always start my my um, calendars I stamp and this year I use the um, Lorena stamp because right now she's my favorite of course uh, she is the biggest of the prima doll stamps and then I love hydrangeas hydrangeas are my favorite flower so um, here um, around I stamp um, all this kind of frame the uh, the page with the hydrangea stamp and I use this ink which is um, the Versa Magic it's a chalk ink and I want it to be um, a very light pale color because I want to be able to write over it um, I want to be able to make notes and stuff and I want to be able to read my notes easily and at the same time this this uh, acts as the first layer or background which throughout the year I will eventually add more stuff um, you know as I go and of course this calendar comes with this is a sample this will be the week layout so this is how Martha Stewart uh, suggests you should use your planner and I really love the starts with with a Monday and on this side it has um, a previous and, and next um, month calendar and then it has um, room for task and then at the bottom it has these two uh, spaces that you can actually uh, pick a topic and put it here I usually do um, sometimes I do here dinner so that way I'll know what I'm doing for dinner and or expenses uh, on top that's usually how I use these two uh, spaces here which are extra spaces and I have all this space just for a week and or all this space just for one day so it's it's a lot of room to write because I I don't like the small squares <laughs> on some of the others of uh, the other um, planners okay so then it has your personal reference uh, area here and it has a four year ref four year reference calendar and this is very nice it's, it goes from 2013 all the way through 2016 then it has the holidays and uh, I really love it because uh, the ones in blue are the federal ones so um, you know when the bank is closed and there's usually no school or your trash doesn't get picked up and things like that so um, that's very nice and um, this is how a month will look okay so this was December 2012 it's, it's the same for um, all months and let me just show you let me see yeah this is September of this year I haven't used it at all just for the purpose of this video I've been writing a little piece of paper <laughs> but I need to uh, record this video so that I can start adding my information here so um, uh, as the same way I added uh, the hydrangea stamp all around with the pink color and this one here's the um, prima doll stamp here I hope you guys can see it and I have these two uh, safety pins here because I'll be going to a baby shower the fourth thing and another one the 21st and uh, don't forget area I wrote shower but I'm gonna write um, shower gifts so I won't forget the gifts um, and here I stamp Isaac 21 because this is my son he'll be turning 21 on Wednesday September the 4th so that's important and then I have these dewdrop drop here which comes at the same Martha Stewart line let me show it to you here mm -hmm. I don't even know where I put it oh here are these ones here 
just to color code so for me green is bills and I usually use this one for um, my mortgage payment which means that I have to schedule it here in this day so that it'll be in time and let me flip this page and this is October and here where you see the little house this is uh, October 1st this is where the payment should arrive at the bank <laughs> uh, so uh, that's that's the due date so uh, usually I see the little house and then I go back and this is I think the last day I have to schedule so I usually do it be, uh, before this mark here so that's my way of not forgetting that and I use the same system for uh, when they sweep the the street and things like that I just move the the color code uh, do drop to uh, remember um, those things so um, and here October 13 I have this is actually a rubbin um, and I um, didn't care that it was brown and it's gonna cover the whole uh, day because it's a Sunday so Sundays I don't have that many things to write and it says bloom and grow because this is a very special day this is when my granddaughter Adelie turns four so it's a very nice day for us and this uh, here I stamp again with the pink here's a, a little bicycle and then this is another one of the prima dolls hope you can see it this little stamp here the little house and here's the bird cage right here and more hydrangeas and the month is just you know the same and then I have November 2 and November is the same the same um, this is the Lorena uh, doll stamp here are more hydrangeas all around and in here I have this stamp because uh, November 24th is um, our anniversary will be um, set will be celebrating our 26th anniversary this day so um, that I already stamped that so that's usually what I do I just come start creating my background and things that I already know you know are set on the day I start stamping like the anniversaries and things like that because you know those dates don't change so let me just quickly go over here a um, this is actually this week the week of Monday 26 through Sunday the 1st and um, this here is uh, one of those um, team hold stamps um, and um, I'm using the Prima uh, one of the Prima paper clips here, the butterfly, and I, I stamped this one because I'm gonna use it. I need to write something down, so I already know I'm gonna do that. So I put it here already, and I put this sticky note of this telephone here because um, I need to get a phone number from a friend um, tomorrow. So this is this is where I'm gonna write it. So this is how I do mine, and here's so again the little house because this is the day where um, the money should be in the bank for um, for them to collect so I go gonna go back and find my dew drop and that's gonna be uh, the time I have the time frame I have to actually make the payment through my bank so that's how I do it and so, and these so far have just the um, the stamps and here's again the following week again with the stamps another one of the prima dolls here is the background and this it will be the fourth which is i6 um birthday it will be um i just wrote isaac a hundred percent so um that way i'll remember sometimes I, I get more creative and do more stuff you know all down and so it's it's a very very good nice quality calendar it's huge for you guys if you guys like to write um, make a lot of notes write a lot of things down your thoughts this one has enough enough space even to write what you're eating if you 
have to keep track of your your diet your food intake you can do it here your exercise water and everything and i i am getting trying to get one of those stamps that comes uh, with the water and exercise and everything so i'm in, uh, looking uh, in the market to buy some of that but in the meantime you can use um your uh, things that you are probably already have you can use all kinds of labels this one this one this is really cute too you can use your stamps of course you can use your prima dolls and then martha stewart also carries this um, um elastic bands to close your calendar so when you're done with one week you can go back and embellish it a lot more because you're not going to use the space anymore so you end up with a lot of empty spaces and that's where i like to go back and add my ribbons and stickers you can um add so many other things here that are very very nice so um another thing you can do is um when you have your collection of stamps you can actually buy one set just for your planner and um create your own icons you know with that and also Martha Stewart sells this pouch which is uh, for your sticky notes and things it's good for travel and then um, I love these um, seals I love them because um, you can besides uh, making these labels you can actually stamp over them and they're really really nice so um, that is my calendar you guys I hope you guys uh, give it a try if you if this is something you think will work for you I really enjoy watching um, the Filofax um, videos they're they're great and um, I don't have one uh, but I can you know I want to have fun too so I want to play so um, my my calendar allows me to do that so um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys give it a try and please make a comment and if you already have one of these, um, I would love, love to uh, see uh, your calendar uh, if you would like to share it in the video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.